Okay, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Tank Nation. So today we're doing an arrow with um, a chemical at a, a lumber facility plant here and I'm going to take you through the whole process here today. So once again, thank you so much for joining us and spending time and um, giving us a chance to, break, to bring you better content. So today we're airing off a, a corrosive chemical and we're using it by air. So I went ahead and we're using a three inch line, a two inch, I'm sorry, it's a two inch line. So this is my two and my three and this is my hose rack. So you can go to my other videos describing how all this works. So I'm, I'm using my, what is called my truck air. So I'm coming here with my line here. Okay, so it's going all the way here. And I'm gonna go all the way up. So y'all stay with me. So we're gonna climb up. I'm gonna climb up here. I am using three points of contact. So here, now this is where this part of the job becomes very dangerous. You have to make sure that everything is buttoned up real nice and tight. Make sure all your caps are on and nice and tight. Real sure that they're nice and tight. And now we're putting pressure in right now. So I'm gonna be unloading anywhere from probably about 25, 27 PSI. So right now we're coming up on about eight. PSI and you got to make sure all this is off because this can pop off and um, it can literally kill you on impact and a lot of pressure a lot of pressure the 8 PSI is insane right now insane PSI so now and you hear a little bit of that because a lot of the um, a lot of this stuff is just you know it's old but that little bit of leakage there won't hurt anything so we're fine. That's locked in with this, with this uh, Chicago fitting. So now let's go down on the other end. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep it rolling. We're not gonna worry about editing anything. We're just gonna keep it rolling. Just a straight roll. Okay, so we're going now to the rear, to the hook up here. So here we're coming from our three inch so this is a three inch outlet from the internal valve this is the external um this is the i'm sorry this is the um external valve here and this is the coming um from the internal which is there that's the internal valve that goes up back in there with that um with that elbow with that 45 degree elbow and it's controlled by this um this pump here which is a hydraulic pump so it's open up right now so the, I have the internal valve opened up because I'm putting pressure on, and now I have the external valve is closed, and we're going from a three inch, we're reducing down to two inch, so this comes off of three inch outlet, and then I got a, um, a female to male reducer, three inch to two inch, then I'm coming with a two inch coupling to hook up my holes here, which is a um, uh, male, so it goes all the way down over here all the way here and it's hooking up to the customer which is a female two inch receiving end okay so what i love about this process here is this customer here has a two inch check valve and then you also have the globe valve here that is the main shutoff here so what i love about this here this is called a check valve which is a one way and you can see the arrow here showing it's one way which means that the chemical could come in and not come back out so I can't get a backflow through here, which is amazing. All companies should have this, but a lot of them don't, um, which is just insane. But this is excellent. So this is a uh, check valve one way. It has a flapper that flaps this way and shuts down. And then in here is a straining system, a filtering system in here as well too. So we're gonna go ahead and release some chemicals now. So we're gonna go ahead and open the customer up. So first, before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have no major leaks at all or minor leaks. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to slowly energize my line. And then you can watch the line. I'm gonna start opening my valve really slow. And you may can hear the chemicals, let's see. So I'm gonna stand to the side here. You hear that? And then we're gonna watch the line. See the line? Can you see it moving? See it moving? That means it's weighted down. So there's chemicals inside. So now we're checking here. No leaks. And the customer gave us a drip pan for leakage, for spills. We also have another bucket here. 
And we're gonna go ahead and open up there. The seating line, can you hear it? Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and send more chemicals. There she goes. So the customer is now receiving chemicals. Now, this receiver here is empty here. His, his vat here is empty. So he said, let it flow. So we're gonna let it rip. And inside with the customer, he has, um, he has a monitoring system that can monitor the levels of the chemicals being received. Most tanks will have a, um, will have a, what is called a side glass on the outside, which you can see, it, it'll, it'll basically be a, a tube like this, but it'd be a, a, a clear tube like this that you can see the chemicals as they rise and, and it, it'll also have a, a gauge on the side for the whole length of the, of the particular uh, tank. So that is the operating procedures of offloading with, um, with air, compressed air. So that's basically it. And um, so hopefully that was, that was informative enough. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, look for that almond mess. So let's go to the front and recheck everything. So yes, let's go to the front and check the air pressure from our tanks. So we're gonna walk through again. Do -do 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 so the air pressure is good. We're running um, over 100 psi on our. I'm sorry, let me adjust. I don't want to try to get everything dirty. So these are my two tanks. It's the that tank and this tank here. I have the front and my rear air tank. So we're good to go. And if I need to put more, um, if I need to increase my RPMs over here, I can adjust my RPMs to make it go faster. And you can watch my RPMs, which is over here. But it's not necessary for this application. Okay. So now we have walked back through again and we'll go back up top. We'll go back up top to check our pressure. And as you see, right now it's running at about, uh, about eight and a half, nine PSI. So that's fine. That is absolutely fine. It's still, it's, it's flowing really good at that rate. So, We'll go inside and check with the customer, but I won't record on the inside. And I did get permission to do this. And I'll go inside and check the levels and see how it's offloading. So once again, this is airing off with um, compressed air, a chemical here on Tank Nation. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Come back and see us again on the next episodes. Thank you guys. Be great. Boop, boop.